The Malaysia's northeastern state of Kelantan has been ruled by Islamic Party PAS since 1990. Ahead of state polls next month, its electorate continues supporting the opposition right-wing government despite a lack of development through the decades. Afifa Arifin explains how PAS has maintained its success in the state. Kelantan holds a special place in the hearts of the faithful. With a population of around 96% Muslims, the state is often dubbed as the veranda of Mecca and is celebrated for its Islamic learning and scholars. The northeastern state has been ruled by Islamic Party PAS for most of Malaysia's post-independence history. The party has held a firm grip over the state, despite its failure to deliver much material development. 39-year-old Abdul Malik attended Islamic schools for most of his life. He now works as a civil servant in Klantan. He says faith and public service are intertwined and this is fundamental for a generation eager to contribute to the progress of their beloved state. Bagaimana situasi, uh, suasana yang dibentuk uh, apa nama oleh kerajaan negeri mana secocok dengan apa yang kita uh, dibesarkan uh, di kalangan sekolah-sekolah. Uh, uh, ya. Sebenarnya bukan uh, Tok Guru ataupun pimpinan kerajaan ini mengajar kita untuk menjadi jumut, menolak pembangunan, tapi Ianya menjadi seiring dengan pembangunan rohani dan juga jasmani. PAS has mastered the art of projecting its Islamic credibility with fervor. It's what gave them the edge of its main rival UMNO, a Malay nationalist party that's seen to be secular. PAS wants to form an Islamic state, one that is built on Islamic values such as promoting moral conduct, upholding social justice and championing economic equity. And these promises have struck a chord with Kelantan's conservative electorate. We don't want the hanky panky to talk all right. This is a peaceful life, you know. Women must wear tudung. This is what the Toguru until now. Until now, all the people are following. Outside from here, everything is going out. Dengan asbab takwa tu lah boleh mendidik bangsa, negara untuk membuktikan bahawa kita ni boleh beramal dengan agama Islam dengan sepenuhnya. Undeniably, Malay and Islamic identities play a central role in politics here in Kelantan. Parties must employ this rhetoric in order to effectively connect with voters. But projecting an Islamic image alone isn't enough to sustain power. And so the question arises, how has PAS successfully maintained its rule in this state for decades? Observers say PAS's success lies in their deep-rooted connections with the community. It engages in grassroots activities such as religious and social programs, from giving political sermons in mosques to setting up party-affiliated kindergartens. And we must not discount the role played and the welfare and how it reaches down to the ground. It, it tackles problems, people's basic needs uh, to continue living. PAS actually goes to the grassroots to, to, to visit an ailing person, a person seeking help, and it's how the party touches. Uh, people at, uh, at the grassroots. And we cannot deny the role played by the, the PAS um, Muslimah wing or the women's wing. They were also quite active. PAS has built a fortress in Kelantan and it's solidifying its influence in Terengganu and Kedah. Together with another Malay party, Bersatu, PAS is part of the Perikatan National Coalition that in GE15 swept all but one parliamentary seat in these three states. Observers have termed PN's triumph as the green wave, and the tides seem to be moving west and south. Hafifa Arifin, Kota Baru, Malaysia.